Hey, what's up, my guys? It's Al here, playing some more Scrap Mechanic. Um, it is really weird because I've done so many episodes of Scrap Mechanic in a row. Um, there are other games I do want to put in between these, but for right now, that's kind of what has happened this week is nothing but Scrap Mechanic. Um, I am looking at another creation. This is a more cosmetic creation, and it is kind of reminiscent of some of my older ones. It is not a direct throwback like the uh, caddy was, the monster caddy. Um, I I built this off, in, I built this inspired by a real life vehicle, a real life World War II tank. Um, you might be able to guess which one it is, but it was kind of something I've been trying to build forever. Um, it is suffering from the same suspension glitch that the ALMA tank destroyer chassis did due to the weight issues as well as the main battle tank had this issue where the body is so heavy that the bearings just don't work. Um, that is causing some lag as well as there are a number of bearings which are used to get some of these curves which are also causing some of this lag. Um, but overall I'm really happy with how it looks. It functions pretty well from what I've tested and it's a really cosmetic build but it also has a decent tank setup on it. Let me get it up here and show it off real quick. Um, right now I'm calling this the Arborist. Um, now that I say it out loud, it sounds like it might be from somewhere else. Somewhere else might have a name like that, but I'm not sure. I'm actually kind of curious. It has kind of a sand camo on it, and it's got a really sloped armor on the back. Um, that is kind of reminiscent of the World War II tank I based this off of. I have no idea what the exact name of the tank is. I've always heard it referred to as the Doom Turtle, though. So you might know exactly what I'm talking about. If not, um, you can probably find it by looking up Doom Turtle Tank. But with this, it's really, even though it's actually a big tank due to the angles that are on these slopes, it looks smaller than it is, in my opinion. And one thing is when you go into first person, you actually get a decent view out of these windows. Not perfect. Um, I did achieve this by putting the vehicle on, or not the vehicle, but the seat on an angle that is part of the front armor which allows me to put the seat farther forward than I would if I did this normally with this kind of armor which allows to get a very very good perspective um, there are just some little details like there's these little um, pins on the side I don't know what you'd call those they'd be like um, for tying up things like shovels and tools like that you have just a few um, I guess brackets just so you can hang stuff off of like you would in a tank be able to climb in it all these other things um, there's this little emblem on the side. I thought it was kind of cool. Um, I was going to paint it like green to be like a military, but it really messed with the camo. So I just went for a flat gray on just about everything. Um, you have smokestacks in the back for the engine. You have a vent for the engines. Um, you also have a small radio antenna right there on the back. And on the front, you do have a light with a kind of a guard on it or a night guard, I guess you could say. And I'm really happy with it. I think it looks nice. I think it it did what I intended it to do. So I think what I'm just going to go ahead and do is I'm going to drive around here for a little bit. Around this course and see how well it works on the suspension. I haven't tested the suspension thoroughly. But I do want to see how it will work. Um, so far they've worked out well for me. So I am going to actually turn off my webcam once again and go into a nice little time lapse, throw in some music, because I've enjoyed them, and I think you guys have too. So without further ado.
all right and that is the end of the episode and simply because i forgot to earlier i will say it now if you did enjoy the episode please leave a like if you have any suggestions for future episodes please leave them in the comments down below if you enjoy the channel enjoy what i'm doing please subscribe it helps out a lot and if you'd like to go above and beyond please share the channel with a friend it helps out a lot helps the channel get ex more exposure helps the channel grow faster and if we can hit 150 subscribers by july i want to do a big big like uh i guess to say celebration episode is the word i'm looking for um so until next time this has been al looking at the arborist a new tank in my line of many tanks until next time Peace.